That sound is the sound of om. It's a very simple sound. For Mira Binzen, it was one of those aha moments. She had taken a break from her work with special needs children to travel to India studying yoga for her own benefit when it dawned on Binzen that her two passions could be combined. From that moment on, I was on a mission to integrate this practice in a way that made it really fun and engaging and effective for kids. The culmination of her work is the Chicago-based Global Family Yoga, which Binzen founded with her sister and mother four years ago. We got together and we decided that we wanted to do something that would really positively impact our world. And I've been working with children my whole life, so it seemed um, the right thing to do to develop a program that would benefit children's wellness. It just helps me to calm down. The trainings range from planting seeds, teaching yoga to five to seven-year-olds, to walking the path, teaching yoga to older teens and young adults, plus additional courses in family yoga, anatomy, yoga philosophy, and other specialties. It's a really nice environment because it's all people that are interested in children, but then there's also just people that love yoga and want to know how to share it with children. Held throughout the week, Classes are filled with everyone from families who use yoga for valuable together time to serious students enrolled in Global Families 200-hour certification program. I personally developed like my own practice, um, which was great, and now I'm using it with other children, um, and especially my children at home, be able to change what it is that they are or aren't doing if they need to kind of get more energy or to relax and calm themselves. Cross your arms past the elbows. Wrap your arms and bring your palms together. When they practice in the classroom, they learn specific techniques that they can take and integrate into their daily life. So they can be practicing yoga just before they take a test or when they wake up in the morning and before they go to sleep at night to help them sleep better. And so the one-time child psychology major who found her true passion on an educational trip to India now helps others discover their own aha moments. I think that my yoga took a whole different path after taking the training. But when I began, I thought, this is yoga, and this is how I'm going to share it with children. And yoga's not in this little cute box. It, there are so many different facets to it.